Hello and welcome to Red Live. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe by clicking on that red button down below. While you are busy clicking, there is also a bell button which can be clicked too. Mike Mvelase is a South African actor. Now he is best known for his role as Capella on Generations. If you still don't know who I'm talking about, he's the guy that looks like Rick Ross's dad. Let us not lie to ourselves, we've all thought that at some point. Some background. Velasa trained at the Studio Theatre Acting Conservatory in Washington DC. He has appeared on the following television roles. Seven Dilan, Africa Skies, Generations, Going Up, Hearts and Mind, High Rollers, Ismaya, It's Complicated, Matatiela, Sestopla, Good is Nice, Umlilo, Zibondiwe. Other acting roles include Mountain of Volcano, Burning Embers, Julius Caesar, Sunrise City, and Nativity. Mbelasa has also appeared on movies. These include Shock Attack in 1999 and Samaritan in 1998. What happened to Mike Mbelasa? Mbelasa left Generations in 2012. After he left, Drum reported that Mvelasa criticized Generations over their storyline. Mvelasa said the writers of Generations are sending out the wrong message. What lessons are they teaching our kids with characters of Senzo and Jason? Oh yeah, I remember this time. This is when Generations went through that gay phase. Or is it homosexual phase? I, I, I don't know what's the political correct way of saying it. But yeah, I, I get what he's saying, you know, imagine having to explain to your child about another man kissing another man, you know, beard on beard, and then they probably have, you know, hair stuck in their tongues. I don't know where I'm going with this. How the hell did this get you? Back to the story at hand. Velasse also went on to say they introduced this Mawande character and her kids who will do anything to get their parents inheritance while they're still alive. What message are they sending? Are they saying kids must do whatever it takes to inherit their parents money even while they are still alive? In terms of Capella coming back, I mean he kinda just buried his chances of coming back. He wasn't part of that group that were fired in 2014, he left earlier as I said in 2012. If I do remember correctly, his character got killed off on the soapy. So I don't think he's gonna return to Generations, ever. Now whenever you talk about a former actor, there's always a story of some difficulties. Sunday World reported that Mvelasi was fighting to keep his house. This is uh, late 2016, around December. The article says that he defaulted on his monthly installments of 8590 According to court documents that they've seen, he bought the house for 756000 in 2014 and he later obtained a 151,200 rand loan against the property. Sunday World must have some reporters to dig up such information and here I was thinking that such documents are confidential. What is news without Daily Sun? Daily Sun ran a story early this year titled Case of the Capella Twins Causes a Stir. Now according to the story, there's a Mascandi singer whose name is Capella Tusani, how convenient, who has been mistaken for being Mike Mvelase. Capella is obviously getting the best deal out of this because people actually go to his show thinking that they're gonna see um, Velasi instead they get Capella. So in the end it's a win-win for him basically. I don't know much for Capella. But uh, what, who am I? Capella or Mike Velasi? Yeah, it's just confusing. Uh. Rick Ross. It looks more like Rick Ross. Velasi is also an ambassador for Ekaya. I think he's got his own brand of Amas. Isn't that cool? He's also going to appear on the movie She is King, which is set to be in cinemas in December of 2017. So he has been busy and is still around. Do not forget to follow at Red Live RSA on Twitter. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. If you enjoyed the video, please comment, like and share it with your social people. Unless you don't have friends. To check out my previous video, click the one on the right. The video on the left is randomly selected by YouTube so don't blame me. And don't forget to subscribe and join the pack.